So, uh, gonna have three video day, at least this morning. So, uh, first though on this show is, uh, one I'm doing for my buddy, uh, Scott Killian for his friend, which I don't know if he knows that he's getting it, but it is going to his buddy Craig. So, um, I guess the FF stands for Faith Fest. And uh, I'm not 100% sure, if I recall, if these are just his favorite colors or if this kind of went with the theme of it. But um, he wanted us to do <clears throat> a teal build in orange. So we took his um, the logo he sent. It took a few tries to get it to work. Um, but we ended up, we were able to laser it, uh, the background out, and then full it with Cerakote. So that orange is actually Cerakoted, not paint. Um, and I don't do that very often. So um, that was the way that we were able to gauge whether we were lasering out far enough. It's because if my guy could Cerakote in there, then it would work. So um, tested it, was able to get it in there, and I was like, actually, that looks really good. You don't need to uh, you don't need to remove that. So just bake it and uh, send it to me. So um, went back around and pipped it, and um, which the pips actually look really good because they flow right into that orange. You almost can't even see that they're in there, but they are. That's pretty cool. I was like, did I forget? No, I. Of course I didn't forget, but it just looked uh, blended in real well. So wanted to do uh, orange with this light blue. So we've got a uh, super, super light blue five dot insert that's in a tall coin bezel. This is in a brush case. Uh, since we were doing that kind of like that light blue tealish color, I did um, a white handset with the center teals and then did a white Favinov long stem um, second sand, you don't see me doing too many of those, uh, but I thought it looked really good for the build, so I grabbed it. Um, it wanted the same logo onto the crown, so it might be a little tough to see, but you can see right there. Sometimes my phone does not know what to focus on. So you can see it there. Um, Italian leather strap, super, super soft and pliable. We do the center in teal. Uh, or baby blue, whichever, um, as well as all the stitching. And then brushed clasp as well on this one, so that matches the case. And then um, <clears throat> this is one of my new super low profile, um, non engraved exhibition case backs. It's about a medium sized one, though. It's not the one that's full out to here, but it's not the one that's super small. Um, stainless steel movement holder in there, you can kind of see it at an angle and a silver rotor. So that is your build, sir. Um, let it run all night to make sure it was keeping perfect time. Uh, okay, Google, what time is it? It's 9.28 a.m. 9.28 a.m. Looks more like 9.29 a.m. to me. Uh, we don't have the little individual ticks on there. But then again, it could be, uh, technically it's not up to 9.29 right now. So it'll be 9.29 here in a second. We'll ask Google again. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 9.29 a.m. 9.29 a.m., cool. See, so you just wait 15 seconds and you're fine. Okay, so <clears throat> automatic mechanical. You can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead, or you're not going to be very active, you want to pre-wind it. And you just back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. At that point, you can wind and unwind as a turn away from you. I go back and forth because it doesn't hurt it to go backwards, and you can keep your finger spacing super easily uh, to where you're not screwing it back down onto the uh, crown tube. So if you do this for four or five seconds before you wear it, even if you're not very active, you will keep time. And if you do it for something closer to 30 seconds, you are going to max out that 31 plus hour power reserve, which is what I do um, since I'm not wearing around the watch. I just wind it and then check on it the next day. <clears throat> if you pull it to the one and only click, one and only click, you 
can see and feel the play. You've got a wobble crown that will deflect lateral pressure from going into the stem into the movement. Uh, it will basically just kind of roll with your pushing and pulling on it. So, <clears throat> or just pushing on it. If you pull on it, you won't have that. Um, and that's how you set your time. Okay, Google. What time is it? It's 9.30 a.m. 9.30 a.m. Push it right back over and thread it back down. Also to note, this is a unidirectional bezel. You can turn it left, you can turn it right. I just put it on there decently tight to where it's not going to move. Uh, whenever you go to set it back up, just, just kind of look at it and get it aligned. It's, we'll kind of play tricks with your eyes. Sometimes you look at it and go, oh, well, then this is lined up, but that's not lined up. Well, that's not really possible. But um, that's it. That's your build, man. I hope you like it. Um, if you ever feel that one of these is sticking and until they get, see how close they are. If you can see, it does kind of get caught just a little bit there. If you're ever trying to wrap it around there, if you're putting it on your wrist, it's going to be fine. But if you ever feel it gets stuck, just give it a tiny little pull. That's all. And then it will. See, like right there, it's getting a little tough. Back of the camera. Up. Back up. All right. See, that kind of sticks right there. If you pull it just a little bit now, it will fan it out of here. That's until it gets worked in. But. doesn't take much movement at all to get get us where we want to go as with every build it comes with matching beads complimentary um, you're gonna have one of my special edition boxes since it's a custom dial and then you're gonna have your build and warranty cards inside here also a couple of my business cards uh, every build comes with wash cleaner this is good on all glass and metal parts, so everything here in the center, non-toxic, non-residue, non-streaking. You're also going to have some leather conditioner. This keeps that perf that leather strap perfectly soft. Um, if you ever um, feel it getting a little bit of rough at all, just uh, flip it over. Put it on the back probably first because that's where you're going to feel it. Um, just let it soak in and uh, remove any excess a little bit will go a long way and then lastly <clears throat> you have an acrylic glass and a can scratch but you've got some novus 2 this is uh from amazon we just repackage it uh, it's kind of like poly watch uh, if you get a scratch in there put a tiny bit on there buff against it um and then uh use your included microfiber and go back and forth across that scratch filling that scratch Generate some heat with your thumb, um, so don't just sit there and just do a little bit. Just sit there and like polish, 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 and it will be knocked out in about 15 seconds. Back to perfect. So that is your build. I hope you like it, man. Um, appreciate Scott uh, for reaching out to me. I've built Scott a couple watches. Um, actually, I've built Scott what three watches? What the Prince, and then we did the we did two. Um, I can't think of the name of the church. Um, did two of them for him, a matching one. And then this one. So, Scott, I appreciate you a ton, buddy. And uh, thank you for continuing to think of me. And uh, I hope your friend likes this. So, um, once again, I appreciate you guys. And uh, if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And uh, if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.